Hey guys, um, Gypsy Spear here with you, and I want to talk to you about something, <coughs> excuse me, that happened uh, yesterday. Well, not about what happened, but something did happen yesterday. It was a little disturbing to me, and so um, I just want to talk to y'all about my tarot readings. I know that a lot of people have, uh, they confuse tarot readers with Hollywood. They think that you, they can tell you, they think a tarot reader can tell you uh, the, their future. And maybe there are some that they can. Um, they, they think that a tarot reader can tell you if, when you're gonna die and how you're gonna die and if you're gonna have children and, and all that stuff. And, and I guess maybe there are maybe some tarot readers that do that. It's very unethical. Um, but every reader is different, I guess, and you have to uh, pick the reader that you like, that, that resonates with you. So let me just explain a little bit about my tarot readings and where I'm coming from. I come from a very strong Christian background to begin with. I was in the church every day. Um, the doors were open. I was, a, I was the head of the singles ministry. Um, I met, I met my ex-husband in the church. We married in the church. We had our, our son, uh, dedicated in the church and, and all that other stuff. Very, I drank the Kool-Aid, honey. I was drinking that Kool-Aid. And I started seeing things in the church that weren't good. <clears throat> I was seeing and the pastor, he was having an affair with a couple of the ladies in the church. Um, one of them, I believe, bo well, both of them were married. There was a, there were several couples in the church. They were having affairs with one another. Um, divorces were happening. Um, there, there was a lot, and, and there was, the church that I went to, it was very clicky. So if you didn't fit, then you weren't really welcomed. Um, so it was a very clicky church. It was kind of, it was small. And um, there was a lot of uh, anger, a lot of people angry with each other. Well, of course, you know, you're screwing around with each other's husband or wives, you know, of course. But so a lot of that sort of stuff was going on. And I stepped out of the church box and um, I, I began to see my husband, uh, some things that he was really hanging on to, one letting go of. I remember one day, I, rem I, I will never forget, I know I can tell you when my marriage ended. He, I, I went to him one day, and at the time I had a little vintage clothing store off Savannah Highway, and uh, we were very successful with it, or I was very successful with it. And I went to him one day and I said, let me ask you something. Um, let's just say that there's a couple that lives, I don't know, in Iraq or Iran or someplace, Middle East or whatever, and they're, they're Muslim. And they have a business and a family and a, home, a mortgage, just like we do. They're, they're good people. They... The only difference between us and them is that they're Muslim and we're Christian. And I said, are you going to tell me that those people are going to go to hell because they don't believe in Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior? And his answer to me was, yes, they are going directly to hell because they do not believe in Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. And that was a day that I knew it was just a matter of time before my marriage ended because we were definitely going in different paths. Now, um, I, I was scared to death when I first started, when I discovered that I was supposed to be reading tarot cards. I didn't know what to do with that because being from a Christian background, you know, that's, that's like taboo. And so I was in Asheville one day and I was in this little store, in, or a little uh, metaphysical store, and this very lovely lady, she was sitting at the at table reading tarot cards, and I walked up to her and I said, um, I, you know, I know that I'm supposed to be reading tarot cards. I, I just, I'm kind of scared. And she looked at me like, what? You know, and she lifted 
uh, this is not a tarot card, but she lifted the card and she said, you know what, this is just a piece of paper. It's just a tool. And at that moment, the light bulb went off and I got, when I got back into Charleston, I went to Barnes and Nobles or someplace and I bought me a deck of tarot cards and that was in 2011 and I've been reading tarot ever since then. Now, <clears throat> let me explain something to you. I, yeah, I'm a tarot reader and I do a lot of energy work. And a lot of that, I, I even had a hard time grasping on to past lives because, of course, they don't teach at a church. But <clears throat> I totally understand it now. I get it. And um, it, it's definitely helped me in my spiritual growth. But let me just explain what my tarot readings are about. I, I, I don't know. When somebody sits in front of me, if they were to ask me, well, can you tell me when I'm going to die or if I'm going to make a lot of money or what? No, I can't tell you those things. I, I don't want to tell you. If I, if I did know how you were going to die or when you were going to die, I wouldn't tell you anyway. But the uni God, universe, I refer to uh, God as universe because God is everywhere, right? So universe knows what kind of a tarot reader I am <laughs> and I'm not gonna I block that information anyway when I'm reading tarot cards for somebody my higher divine um, is connecting with their higher divine and I'm getting the answers or the information that I need to give to them and I use the tarot cards as a tool very often. A lot of times people will come to me and they'll tell me what's that we're not even reading tarot. I mean, they're paying me to read tarot, do tarot reading, but they start telling me what's going on in their lives. And immediately I start getting downloads from their higher divine um, and whom they're not listening to or they wouldn't be coming to me. So I start getting the information and downloading it and I give it to them. Every time this happens, I will tell them, well, I've given you everything you need to know, but you're paying me to do a tarot reading, so we'll go ahead and do a spread. Every time I do the spread, it's exactly what I just told them, okay? So when I do a tarot reading, it's all about my higher divine. Uh, we, I call it the voice sometimes, but it's that voice that you hear. It. I'm open. My, that portal in me is uh, from my third eye. That is open. And I'm able to go in and tap into your higher divine and give you the information that you need to give. Now, my tarot readings, they're not doom and gloom. People come to me. Um, sometimes they come. They've never had a tarot reading. They're, they're so nervous. They don't know what I'm going to tell them. And before I will even do a reading for them, I, I will calm them down. I'm like, listen... You, there's nothing to be nervous about. My readings, they're, they're, they're not doom and gloom. I'm, I'm not going to tell you all this horrible stuff. <laughs> um, but my readings are to help provide you some enlightenment that will give you the encouragement to step into your own empowerment. I'll give you a good example. There was a while back ago, I did a party, uh, a bachelorette party. They're fun, you know, they're fun, and everybody has a lot of fun with them. I, I like to tell jokes, and we all laugh and everything. But one one day, this, this woman, and there's always that one person out of every party that I go to. Everybody's there to have fun, but there's always that one person that they're the reason why I'm there, okay? And it's all good, but... I had a lady, everybody was from Texas, and there was a woman who was probably about my age. I'm, I'm 63. She, she was about my age, maybe a few years younger. Um, and she's Catholic. She's born and raised Catholic. And so she was a little nervous about having a tarot reading done with me. Everybody else was getting one, so she was like, okay, I'll, I'll go ahead and do it. Well, she was the one. She was that one that I was there for. Um, I did her spread. I, you know, did a little three card and I had the three of swords and I can't remember what the middle card was. I wish I could, but the last card was a strength card in reverse. And I looked at those cards and I said to her, there's something that happened that really 
brought you down to your knees. You have not gotten over it yet. And she told me that her mother had been murdered by a serial killer. That he murdered her, murdered her and took her out, out in nowhere land and left her. And and she she told me the whole story. And as I'm listening to her, I'm like, oh my God, this sounds like something that would be on 2020. And she said, yeah, we, I, she was on, I don't know that it was 2020, but she said she was on one of those shows in regards to her mother. And, and I also do mediumship. And I don't advertise mediumship on my website. And the reason why is because I don't invoke uh, people from the other side. Um, I, I let them rest. You know, that's what they're doing. They need rest so, uh, so they can get prepared to come back. Um, but so I, I was doing her card and I, and I said to her, um, she's still very hanging on to the anger and the unforgiveness. So I looked at the strength card in reverse. I said, you've given a lot of your power and your strength over to the man that killed your mother. And that's, that's creating a lot of, you're not able to enjoy your life. You know, um, so I go on, you know, we talked a little bit more. Her daughter was there also. And what I didn't tell you is there was a, uh, I was sitting in this living room and my cards were on this glass table and there was a carpet underneath me. And this carpet had all kinds of weird designs on it. I wasn't really paying any attention. Um, but I just remember the card, I, I mean, the carpet, it um, was kind of like a beige, orangey color, but it had a lot of different designs. And um, <clears throat> so I started reading for uh, somebody else. It was actually the woman's daughter. Uh, so I started reading for her. And right at, at a very moment, I looked down um, to the cards and I'm looking through the glass and I immediately spot a cross and her mother at that very moment her mother came showed up and she said one word and that was it one word and she left um, but the word was forgive and I stopped the reading with a little girl that I was trying to read for and I looked over at the woman who you know whose mom had been murdered and I said your mom just came through and she has one word for you she wants you to forgive that man that murdered her and she looked at me and said I I know I can't I cannot forgive him I said well here's a deal you had your strength card was in reverse so and I told you earlier that you're giving a lot of your strength and energy to this man who is a piece of shit. Um, and until you forgive him, um, you once you forgive him, you will find your strength and just uh, almost like being reborn. And so I left her with that. So it... You know, what the point I'm trying to get at is my tarot readings are not doom and gloom. I talk a lot about uh, universe, God. I talk sometimes about Jesus. When I do um, any kind of energy work and I pray over somebody, I invoke the ascended masters. Jesus is always one of them. Because, yes, I did come from that uh, Christian background, and I, I still feel a very... A tight connection with Jesus. I don't believe that he's the only way into heaven. Um, I have my own thoughts about heaven and all of that. Um, but I'm still very connected uh, with him on many levels. And I will still call on him even for my own personal help. So um, I just wanted to explain my tarot reading my my tarot style i'm very compassionate 
uh, very conversational uh, like a lot of people that come to me they tell me uh, when when the session is over they <laughs> a lot of people say I feel like I just went to a therapist <laughs> and that may be so I mean my background is in uh, psychology uh, so yeah <laughs> I, I majored um, well, I started majoring in psychology and minored in religion, and then I turned it around. I majored in religion and minored in psychology in college. So that, you know, sure, that may have something to do with it. But, yeah, not the doom and gloom. I just had a really, I wanted. I just wanted to talk about this because I had a, a kind of a disturbing experience yesterday. And uh, I just wanted to clarify uh, my style of reading and who I am and, and that sort of thing. Because I, I know I'm making a, a big presence these days um, uh, all over the Internet on many levels. And I'm all over Charleston, you know, doing happy hour, doing tarot readings for 10 bucks, you know. So anyway, I hope this helps to clarify some things. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to this. This is a long video. And I love you all. And I hope to see you soon. Come hang out at a happy hour or have coffee with me. Um, I'll talk with you soon.